about my money though It's funny bro, let's see if it's funny when me and Mac Snatch your hoe, cash get close Drop a banger, pick a foe She wants some more, I told her no and put her out the door Cause the flow, colder than the wind What's good Mo Mafia, it's your girl Mo And as y'all can tell by the title I'm back with another Moop Bang and before we get into this video, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping Mook Bangers, and make sure y'all check out the entire game. All right, so y'all, today we got ourselves a homemade Chipotle bowl. They made them last night, but I didn't eat none, so I decided to do my Mook Bang today for y'all. And in my Chipotle bowl, y'all, I have... Um, carne asada, brown rice, uh, a lettuce melody mixture. I got grilled onions and peppers. I, I didn't put no beans. I did have the option to put beans. I'm going to put some sour cream. Um, I'm going to see what it tastes like with some banana peppers. And then I have this here sauce right here that they bought. It's a little sauce to put in it. So we're going to say this prayer, and then we're going to get straight to it, because I'm ready to smash. I ain't ate all day. First meal, probably going to be my last. God is good. God is great. And we thank him for this food. We're going to thank him in the morning, noon, and night, because God, God, God is dynamite. I meant, I meant, game. All right, y'all, we got it mixed around a little bit. Um, y'all, and today I'm doing a story time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna taste it with the sour cream, just the sour cream first because I didn't get to taste it yet. That's what it's looking like. Look pretty, oop, can't escape us, baby. Oh, and I got uh, I think mozzarella cheese. Mmm. That's actually fire. Close your door. See what it's busting like with the banana pepper. Y'all, today I'm going to be telling y'all a story time and a little bit of sauce, y'all. Y'all know I'm not big on sauce, but let's see what this is like. Mmm. Banana peppers and sauce busting. All right, y'all. So, today I'm going to be telling y'all a story time about the time I was called to the, the hood, which we call it the hundreds in Milwaukee. I don't know what made me want to tell y'all this, but I was trying to think of something to talk about all y'all, and I got some water right here. I was trying to think about something to talk about for y'all. And I was like, hmm. Every story I came across in my head, I'm like, did I already tell them that? Hmm. So lettuce went down the wrong pipe. I'm going to tell y'all like this. Get y'all somebody that can make homemade Chipotle bowls. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm going to tell y'all the story. When I was called out to the hood to help my friend fight. Now, I remember the main stuff, but I don't really remember every little thing about it, y'all. So we just going to wing the story. Not wing the story, but, you know, it ain't going to be too detailed. I'm sorry, y'all. The sound of the dishwasher is about to piss me off. Let me turn it off. All right, y'all. I got finally got it to turn the hell off. But, yeah, I'm going to be telling y'all the story time about the time when I was called out to the hood to help my friend fight because some girls in her neighborhood was fucking with her. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Okay, so... We was in eighth grade. I do remember that. And my friend My friend name was Jasmine. And I still talk to her to this day. So Jasmine had got into it with these girls out in the hundreds. And basically, you know, she was like, shit, they keep uh, fucking with me. Woo -woo. They, they got into it or whatever. I don't remember the details of why they got into it. So Jasmine called me and all her other friends from school. We all kicked it. All the time, every weekend, we was either at her house, my house, my other friend, Najia house. It's so funny because we all grown as hell with kids now. But she called us all over. We all came over, brought clothes, everything like we was going to spend the night. But when we got there, all her cousins and... <coughs> Her mama and like her other friends from out there in the hundreds had scarves and shit on. Um, I don't remember if we knew we was coming to fight. I, we probably did know we was coming to fight. But basically, we get there or whatever. And everybody waiting on the hose to, like, give us the signal. You know how it was back in the day. Like, they either right on blink or whatever damn site we was on. And baby was like, pull up like this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did I give y'all a good bite? Hmm. Good, good, good bite. Feeling too. But, so they give us the go. We go around there. Now, I, all of maybe, I remember it being Jasmine Cousins because he had his shirt off and we was all being fast. Like, girl, you see his body? Ah! Eighth grade, y'all. So, it's all of maybe, I'm going to say maybe 12, 12, between 12 and 15 of us. Baby, we hit that corner by the park, and it looked like a gang of gorillas. <laughs> was pulling up the fight. Baby, I looked around, I, I got the count with my hand. Come on. <laughs> I 
I'm like, these numbers ain't numbering. <laughs> we about to get our ass whooped. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. When I tell you these bitches couldn't fight, order the dudes. What? We whooped their ass. He, oh! Oh! But before I jump to that, I had this one crazy friend. Her name was Alana. I remember Alana. God rest her soul. Um, She was like the smallest out of all of us. Like, you know, I always been a little chunkier, but Alana, she didn't give a fuck. She was trying to go. She ran up first and cracked the bitch. I remember my friend Jasmine, she had a padlock in a sock. Have y'all ever fucked y'all? You got a padlock. In a sock, knocking the bitches out. I'm like, we're going to fucking jail. <laughs> but basically, Alana run up, back a mack a mack a mack a mack a A big bitch, too. And before we got around her, she said it. I'm going for the biggest bitch out there. So they know. You know what I'm saying? This shit was good, y'all. I'm just about done, though. Full. Mm. We get around here, it's plenty of them. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When we walked around that corner, I was like, we about to get our ass whooped. <laughs> This is a guaranteed ass whooping about to happen, baby. And the bitches wasn't small neither. We in eighth grade. I, I, I'm more than for sure we was fighting high schoolers. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Y'all. Alana ran up, cracked the bitch, knock, 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 knock. And Jazz and Alana, they was like this, super close. Like they was friends before I joined the group in sixth grade. Me and Najia run up right behind the Mac Mac, all her cousins. Her cousin, I think his name was something like that. He knocking bitches out, not giving a fuck. But something happened, whereas the fight, we out there brawling. The fight end or whatever, or like everybody done fighting, everybody get tired or some shit like that. I don't know. And we go back to my friend Jasmine Crib. Why the hoes pull up to her mama house? Oh, why they do that, baby? Her cousin. I'm going to blank his name out because I don't want to incriminate him. Her cousin come outside with the with a fat ass, like fat ass, fat ass, chunky monkey. You feel me? He like, what's good, bitch? <laughs> what's good, bitches? All I remember him saying is, what's good, bitches? What's up? Like he finna shoot the hoes. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to go to jail for accessory to murder. <laughs> Dad and mama were at a gun. I'm like, man, hell no, you ain't finna shoot no funny. Da, 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 da. Bro, it was crazy. That was one of the most wildest fights. Now, I've had a lot of fights in high school. Because I always ran with like a clique, y'all. Like, I always had hella homies. No matter what age. I always had a nice little group of friends. Who held me down, P.O.P., you feel me? Even now. But that, that fight out in the hundreds was epic. And I bet you it's a bitch who ass I was whooping on watching this video right now. Hey, bitch. 
Hey, bitch. Whoop your ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, got in that ass. What's up? I don't do that fighting shit no more, but you know, you got your ass whooped or whatever. Oh, y'all. But yeah. That's pretty much what happened, y'all. I just remember bitches getting knocked in the head with padlocks. I remember my old boy coming out the house with the gun. And y'all, we're in eighth grade. This is just crazy. Like, my life, I had one hell of a life, one hell of a childhood. I experienced some crazy shit. I've been shot at. A shot pass. Never hit, though. Nope. It's crazy. But my mafia, the homemade Chipotle bowl was fire. I killed that shit. It was so good. Um, if you want the recipe, it's just carne asada, seasoned carne asada, brown rice, um, iceberg, chopped lettuce, uh, Parmesan cheese, um... Um, saute red, green, green, red and green peppers and um, onions. Um, this sauce, you can put black beans in it if you want to. I didn't want no black beans. So I didn't want to be around this motherfucker farting all night. And then uh, banana peppers. I put a little bit of banana peppers in my and some sour cream to give it that little, you know, texture. It was busting, and I'm full, and I'm good. But if you enjoyed this story, Tizzle, and you want me to tell you more stories about my childhood, I don't know if I told this story before. I might have. I've made so many videos. Or I've realized that I've made like over a thousand videos on this channel in the periodic, in the, in the time frame I've been doing YouTube. It's crazy. Over, I'm at like maybe 1,400. I don't know. I ain't looked. But I know it's over a thousand. But yeah, y'all, I've told a lot of story time. So if you heard this one already, just sit tight and go for the ride, baby. I don't be remembering what all I told y'all. It'd be so many stories. I'd just be like, man, I'd just be trying to entertain y'all. And I wanted to eat this bowl with y'all because it was it was looking good as hell. I'm like, I'm about to boot bang that, baby. But, Mo Mafia, I'm going to go ahead and get out y'all way. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. If you want to catch me live in action, acting goofy, uh, just, you know, being my authentic self. Catch me on TikTok Live, y'all. I go live every day, anywhere between 8 p.m. Central Time and 12 p.m. Like, any time in between there. That's usually the time I go live. You might catch me earlier than that if I'm not doing nothing. Like, right now, I'm about to edit this video, get it up for y'all, and I'm hopping right on TikTok Live. So, after this video is done... Most likely, I'm getting on TikTok, so come over there. Make sure you follow me. Um, I have a big battle coming up on the 18th with another creator by the name of Jen. Y'all might know her. She makes videos with her kids all the time. Um, I flash a picture of her right here. So if you know, you know her. Um, but me and her are doing a big battle on Friday where um, if you're unfamiliar with what TikTok Live is, you go live, you battle other creators, you... Um, and your supporters can gift you and support you. So if y'all looking for another way to support, y'all can come over to TikTok, follow me, and come help me out with my battle on Friday. It's on Friday at 8 p.m. Um, we're doing 10 rounds of battles. The battles are five minutes long, and it's going to be lit. We're going to be turned up. We're going to be vibing. Music, probably catch me a little drinky drink, and just vibe out and whoop her ass. You feel me? Period, bitch. Well, Moppy, if y'all want to support, pull up on me. Friday the 18th, yes, at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time, y'all. Turn me up for the one time. And for everybody who already over there, y'all already know the vibes. We finna get lit. But Mo Mafia, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping Mook. Bang! And if you want another story time or you enjoyed this story time, comment down below. Let me know what else y'all want to know. You know what I'm saying? You could bring up a general topic and maybe I could, maybe I got a story in the hatch 
You know what I'm saying? That relates to that topic. Or if y'all want things, y'all want me to talk about certain things, let me know about it, man. Because I don't be knowing, like, what y'all be wanting me to talk about sometimes. When I do videos by myself, I'll be like, I'm going to do a story time or I'm reviewing something or, you know what I'm saying, I'm pranking or, or challenges. Anything y'all want to see, dog, comment down below. We got to get back tapped in because we, I feel like we getting a little disconnected, uh, YouTube. What's with that? Y'all disconnecting from me? Y'all don't love me no more? I know y'all like, you the one ain't been posting, y'all, but I've been real busy for Ava's birthday, y'all. Now that that's done and over with, um, I will be moving within the next couple months. As y'all know, I'm moving back to Houston. So I'm going to just be kind of busy, y'all, but I'm going to still be trying to post videos at least every other day. No more missing 10 days because that felt like a long time not posting a video. I think it was seven days, but it still felt long as hell. But yeah, y'all tap in with me. Let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know if y'all want me to do um, short movie reviews, like short YouTube movie reviews where like I'm down in the corner reviewing it and we like watching it together. How would y'all feel about that? Because I, I, I saved this guy's Instagram who he like puts up little clips or like little suggestions of short like horror films and stuff like that for me for like creators to review. I think that'll be dope. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. But enough me running my mouth, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tap in with me Friday on TikTok for me to turn up. You already know. And Mo Mafia, we finna get lit because we the shit. Gang!